Hello everyone, my name is NerdBuilder and I'd like to welcome you into a brand new series on the channel called Mine Colonies, named after the Minecraft mod that we're going to be playing. If you're not familiar with Mine Colonies, it's been out for a few years now. I myself just got into the the mod pack just a few weeks ago. I've been messing around with it and it's been a lot of fun. If you like any kind of city builder game or I guess a survival game, anything that's hands-on kind of management, I think you're going to like this mod pack a lot. Um, for me, outside of Minecraft, I really like playing city builders. And this mod pack is essentially allows you to build a little city or a town. I guess maybe a town would be more appropriate there. And you, you can have colonists that will come and they will become part of your town, your citizens, and they will help you build and gather resources. Very cool. Very cool. I'm always so impressed with the things that people can do with Minecraft. And this is another example of something that is just fantastic. So I'm going to leave some links down in the description to get this going because with Mine Colonies, it doesn't run on just vanilla Minecraft. It does take a little bit of effort to get this installed and you will need to install Forge. If you're not familiar with it, I'll drop a link down below, but like Optifine anything else, it'll install a profile on your on your Minecraft launcher, again, you will want to use Java, Minecraft Java with this. But as you can see on the bottom left there, it says Forge 39018. That's the current version that we're on, but we are we do have to use the Forge profile in order to run Mine Counties. You can see that the interface itself is slightly different. You could see that there is a mods button there. And in order to get this to work, and you can see there's a couple different mods. It, some of these are just extras that I've installed myself. But there are a few basic ones that you're going to need, obviously, with Minecraft. Um, in order to play this, you're going to need Minecraft, Java. There, Domum Ortamentum. I think I said that right. That's quite a mouthful. That's another one that you'll have to download. Structurize is another one. Forge, obviously, is another one. Multi-Piston and mine colonies. Those are the basic ones that you're going to need to install. Some of these other ones, such as Journey Map and Just Enough Items, they're more... They're more um, for help in the game to make the game a little bit easier. And again, you don't need mine counties in order to run these mods, but they will need, you will need Forge in order to run these mods. And Serene Seasons, it, um, I'll explain a little bit more as we get into the game and Ultimate Car Mod, which is just something I thought looked kind of cool. So we'll see how that <laughs> goes there. And another thing I should mention just in terms of setup. So once you get those all set up and you log in and that... Um, and you can see we are on Minecraft 1.18.1. I should just put it that in as a note. So it does work. That is the most recent version as of recording. So they have adopted it to 1.18.1. However, I should say that it is a little finicky, I guess, or it can be a little tough sometimes to do certain things with the pack. Because again, you have to remember that the pack is a couple years old. So, you know, there may be some compatibility issues and they'll probably arise a, a little bit, but we'll, we'll explore how to get around them. And that, and then also as another matter, this is not necessarily what Forge looks like. You can see we are using a resource pack of Clarity and Dramatic Skies. I do have some other ones installed, but these really start to make some major changes. So I, I did not want to continue going with them. Um, you know, these will just add a little bit more texture to the game. It will change skies a lot, but the clarity pack, you know, it'll maintain a lot of, I shouldn't say maintain it, but it will enhance like the vanilla mindset a little bit. I will say because we do have Optifine installed here. However, shaders will not work, uh, with this mod pack. So I've, I've tried, I was trying to mess around before recording this video with it. Unfortunately, I could not make shaders work because there were, there were some things I wanted to do and I kind of had an area already picked out that I really liked that would have looked amazing with, you know, certain shaders and unfortunately it didn't work. So if you have any shaders, you're going to have to turn them off. But I, I think that resource packs will work. At least I've confirmed that the two I have do not seem to interfere too much with mine colonies there. But with that being said, you know, the goal of this series is really to do like a let's play. I will be learning a lot uh, as we go along here. I have played the mod pack, but in a limited sense where I've done some of the basic things. But beyond that, it's it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun learning these things. And I'll be learning along with you. And I'll try to throw in some helpful hints, tips, and tricks wherever I can um, based on my experience and to help anyone else who is interested. So 
in recap, I will post all of the, the links for the necessary things to download in the description down below. I'll also include um, some links to the Clarity Pack and Dramatic Skies as well if you're interested there. Now to get started, what we'll end up doing is we will go into single player, and I do have some of my other worlds, but I these are not on Forge. They do show up anyways. Um, they're I, my other series, I guess, a test world for the nerd server and the old survival world. So if you are interested, we do have other videos on the channel. And the nerd server, I do stream on Twitch every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday evening. There, So we're going to go in and create a new... World. So we'll call it uh, Mine Colony so that we remember uh, which one is which. And we'll leave it on Survival mo Mode, Normal Difficulty. We'll leave Cheats off. And we're going to leave the Seed Generator blank. So we'll see where we end up. <laughs> there, we'll leave everything else the same. And just like that, we can jump right in. So uh, th this pack, it, what we're going to do right now is we do need to focus on surviving the first night. So the pack doesn't change anything from, you know, what you need to do in the early stages of Minecraft when you start a new world. So we will need to survive our first night. So let's see where we end up here while well, this loads in. And actually, we might have just hit the jackpot. So potentially, I guess we'll see. So you can see on the top right there, that is the mini map that I was talking about. Um, that's installed as a mod. It, it's just a tool to help make things a little bit easier. And it looks like we do have some water around. But this actually might be pretty promising in here. So let's take a look around here. Okay, so we do have we do have the large body of water over here. And what we're what we're really looking for as well is a um for some flat land. Um, flat land is going to be essential because the buildings that we're going to have to build are going to need to be... Ooh, that's pretty. That's kind of far down. That's okay. Um, the buildings that we're going to need to build do need to be on flat land, so it makes it a little bit more tricky. And actually, this area might be pretty good. Um, you know, I I didn't, I didn't play Mine Colonies pre-1.18, and I'm guessing that, you know, with the new terrain generation in 1.18, it's made things a little bit more difficult. Actually, I'm pretty happy with this area. Maybe we're, maybe we're just going to stick over here. Then this is, this is relatively flat. You're also going to want to leave some space, but I guess we could also we could also do some terraforming out this way, you know, as we need to. So let's um yeah, let's take down a tree here. We will have to do some terraforming. Here and initially right now what we're going to do is we just need to try to survive our first night. So we're going to knock the, uh, get some wood here, we're going to get some basic tools and we're going to go looking for sheep so we can make a bed for our very first night. Alright, and another cool mod is that we do have the instant break on the tree so instead of it waiting it'll drop what we need it to drop right away. So, alright, so we got five. Alright, cool, we're going to make a crafting table right away nothing wrong with using the recipe book on here i do it all the time and we have two sticks i guess what we could do is we can make a pickaxe now let's see can we find any stone i see some in the distance there so remember where our crafting table was so we're going to need stone um obviously good to have some stone tools but we're also going to need stone to actually build the tool that is that can be used for um actually building your your colony so i'm just going to grab some stone from the side here all right so we're quickly advancing into the stone age so i'm going to grab a few i might have to dig out the side slightly here I hope it doesn't become a safe haven for mobs. Ooh. Actually, that's a good find. Right away, because we're going to need a little bit of everything. Here, so you can see with the texture pack, the resource pack, that it does change. It does change, you know, the look of some items. But it's not a drastic change. It, I, I think it looks a little bit better. I know that there's some controversy over resource packs. Um, I, I tend to like them. But not not too much. 
There, so we're going to run back here, and I'm going to make some other wooden tools, and then we're going to go looking for sheep, because obviously we need a bed to survive your first night. And again, I will post a world seed as well down below. Um, the other thing is... I'm actually... Oops. I wanted a stick. All right, so now we have buttons, too. That's okay. So we're going to make a sword, and we'll make a axe. We'll make a better pick, and we will... All right, so we got the, we're getting advancements left and right here, so we'll make that as well. We're going to stay in this area, but the thing that we need to do right now is find some sheep. So I haven't seen really many animals walking around, so let's see what we can find here. All right, so we got a pretty big ocean and we'll see if we could find somewhere better over here to settle down of course if you you know if you spawn in an area where there are no animals which is definitely or you have a lack of animals which you know of course could be I see a beehive over here if that's the case you know you're going to want to make plans and let's see Interesting. Wolves and pigs, but we need sheep. I think the other area is still going to be the best way to go. Let's see. We might be in a situation that there are no sheep around here. <laughs> If that's the case, we're going to have to make a very rudimentary uh, structure for the night. All right, we're having trouble finding a sheep. All right, so we'll search a little bit more, and then after that, I'll just have to hunker down for the night. Because this will be the very first thing we need to accomplish. And then right after that, I'm, I'm pretty pleased to see that there's some flat land. Um, because otherwise we would have had to do a bunch of terraforming. And we may not have to now, so at least not as much. We can also check on top of the mountain there, so. But I think we'll end up taking a lot of this out. And fixing the river a little bit. Should probably pay attention where I'm walking, shouldn't I? All right, so let's go up top here. See if we can find some sheep up, up, up. And I will say another thing to keep in mind too with this pack is that it is very um, resource intensive by means of actually needing to gather materials in the world. Um, these buildings are, if you haven't seen other YouTube videos or if you haven't played the pack yourself, they require, they are pretty sizable. There we go. Got him. All right. Excellent. A lot of good caves to explore too. Let's just see over here, even though I think our original area is going to be the best way to go. Or, I don't know, maybe over here? Actually, I'm liking this area more now. I think we got an area right on the ocean too let's see are we up on a cliff I'm liking this area a lot yeah not really this area's got a lot of potential so I think we're gonna end up we're gonna yeah this is gonna be the area so the first thing that we're gonna do right now though is make sure that we can actually survive so I'm gonna put down We'll build a little bit off to the side. We'll have our little area off to the side over here, right by the water. 
and we're gonna make a bed to start with here. All right, so we'll, all right, so we'll set our spawn point. I'll just kind of clear this out here. So now we are safe for the rest of the night. And so we will be okay. Where's the sun at? So it's actually going to set in a second. So have we picked up, maybe we picked up any seeds. And one of the other things I always recommend in any type of survival Minecraft is to start um, farming right away. Like that, that'll give us a good supply of food. Is now, you know, it's not just us that are, we're going to have to feed, but also the people in your county are going to have to eat as well. Oh, that's why they're following me <laughs> for a second. I'm like, what do they want? So that's right. All right, so let's see. Does this go down by the water? Uh, not really. And it is starting to get dark. So we're going to sleep for the night, but we're going to get the advancement to see the place here. Always makes it sound very sus, a CD place, but... Alright, and we actually have some canola seeds, too. Something a little bit different. Alright, so we'll keep them over here for now. Let's run back. And while we're waiting for night to officially fall, you want to look for an area that has some flat land. So obviously there's... we got some trees in proximity that we can use to cut down. And you can see the dramatic skies pack makes the sky look... Really cool at night. But this area is going to do... I, I think this is going to be a good area. So we can actually start... Um, kind of clearing out. And we'll probably pick up some more seeds in the process. Because I think our very... How to start our colony. Our very first... Um, building. Um, I think we're going to put over here. A little ways away and we should probably sleep the other, the other thing to note with this with this um pack too is that it is a good idea to sleep at night and not try to stay up all night until you have some pretty good protection of your uh villagers up just because um you know this mobs will spawn per usual and they will attack your uh villagers there, so we're just going to put down some more seeds. You can also see, too, with the pack that I'm using um, for the different seasons, you can see, you know, summer and autumn. Um, you know, the seasons will change over time in this pack. So I haven't used it before. Thought it'd be pretty cool to give it a, a try here. All right, so let's put this down. And then what we're going to need, though, is we're going to need a bunch more wood. So, and that reminds me, because we do have some tree saplings. And you can see these are good all year round. But I guess we'll put these over here. And then we're also going to go and pick up some, some more trees. And the next thing that we're going to do, because we're actually in pretty good shape now, I think, with like having a good area to build, is we're actually going to build a... And I guess it, we do have an option because we are right on the water as well if we want to build a ship or if we want to build a um, supply camp and I'm thinking well this we can go either way and maybe because we can probably try to use the um, the island there is a little a little area because the thing with this game is it, it can be difficult to place um, buildings and whatnot down so what we can do is I can uh, we'll try to do it with a supply ship because we have we have the ocean there. So a supply ship you're going to need a ocean or a deeper body of water in order to do it because it will not um, it will not allow you to do so in you know like a shallow little spring. Um, a supply camp can be placed you know on anywhere on flat ground, which is why I I, I kind of prefer it. But we're we're by it. We're by an a kind of like a, a deep at least a deep water biome. So we might be able to get away with doing the ship. All right. I think we might have enough wood for now. So let's run back. Whoa. We have some big caves over here. Alright, so it looks like a tree already popped up there. 
I guess we could go down. We could the ship. It the ship itself, I think, is more impressive. The supply camp's probably a little bit easier. Tim. So we'll go back, and what we're gonna do is, I guess, we will try to make the supply ship, and I'll show the ingredients that we're going to need. Here, so we do need to break these down. So we're gonna break all of this down. All right, so we got a stack. We should have enough. And if we want to, so we will need to make boats. Um, in order to do so, we need one, two, three, four. I think it's five. Let me see. It is. So here we go. So obviously a different item that we don't have in um, normal Minecraft, a supply ship. And also what we're going to build here is we're going to build a building tool. Here, so we'll build that. That's going to help direct the ship and whatnot. So we're going to have to get down at least close to the water to be able to put this down. So this will be the first test to see if we can do this. It can be a little finicky by the water, so it may take a couple tries. And don't get frustrated, um, you know, if you try to do it on your own. But you have to be kind of close to the coast, and you need like a you need like a block to kind of put it on. So let's see if we can. There we go. So you can see the massiveness of it there. So let's get a little bit closer. So what we're gonna do is we're actually we're gonna try to we're gonna try to move it out to sea. And then, so to do this, you know, you right click on the item with the building tool and then you can push ESC. You can see that there's like a ton of water above it. So we can rotate it. So maybe we'll have it where the ladder is. All right, and we can make different, different designs, you know, from here. Wow, <laughs> it's a massive one. Nordic supply. So I kind of like that. All right, and this ship will stay. I think we'll go with this. So let's see. Okay, so th this is what I was talking about with the, um, it could be kind of finicky. There we go. So I have to put it out a little ways, a little bit further away from the coast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out here and I'm going to try to place it down. So it can take a few different tries. So what we'll do is I will place it down and then we will come right back. All right, and we're back. So I guess it, it didn't like the uh, kelp or the plants coming up out of the ground, I guess. <laughs> That's what it seemed to have objected to. So we have a place, I guess it's closer to our colony. So let's get out to our ship now. After it took a few took a few tries, so you have to make sure if you're gonna do it this route that there is not like literally nothing underneath. So we'll climb the ladder here and up we come onto our ship. And what we're looking for is there's gonna be a lot of different goodies that we can find. There's nothing on that rack. So we'll take the oak logs here. Nice, there's some stone. Alright, so I guess we'll Maybe we'll leave these for now. More cobblestone. All right, we'll take the flower pot with us. Yep, we'll take we'll definitely take these and some bread. Even better. All right, so I think we clean this out. 
here. Nothing on the racks here. Oh. Let's get that out of here so I can... Alright, so nothing here. Alright, some more oak logs. So it's going to give you a lot of beginner supplies. So dry kelp block. We'll take, we'll take some of this. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do with the kelp just yet, but you can see, okay, we'll, we'll take some more wooden tools as well. And I'm probably actually going to steal the chest too. Not so much steel, because again, this is our, our supply ship. Here, and okay, so there's a couple beds and a crafting table there. And let's see, the composter, I just threw that in there by mistake. So let's go into here. So we got more of like a study in here. And here we go. This is what we're looking for. So let's see, there's some paper. And okay, so it gives us another build tool. But also we have a town hall, which this is actually how we're going to start our colony. And yeah, ooh, redstone torch. I'll take that. All right. So we'll probably we'll be back onto the ship. So we'll leave this we'll leave this as is for now. And almost fell down there. Let's just check up and above if I can get up here. This is a tall one, this ship. So there's a lot of good resources to get you started. And let's see, I don't think there's nothing of of value. Here, let me out of here. Alright. And some lanterns, that might be cool. Okay. So, other than that, and again, you could do whatever you want with the ship if you want to destroy it. You could destroy it. It's got some cool flags on it. Um, you know, I, I recommend just leaving it. I think it's a cool touch. You know, we can kind of make like a marina or something. And it, we should be able to move it in time, too. So, now that we have our town hall, that's going to be the most major part of this that's the whole reason for building the ship so this will make it a little bit easier on the way down and what we're going to do and to conclude today's episode is we're actually going to place this down so this will serve as like the center area of your colony so you want to put it somewhere that's going to be roughly in the center so i'm just going to hop up here we're going to want to put it back a little bit if we can we're going to have to probably take this mountain down. So we're probably going to flatten this area out more over here. That's cool with the ship right there. So let's see what's on this side. How far is this trap? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> easy, easy. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm thinking like right over here might be the best. We'll have to fill some stuff in. I'm thinking that this might be a good area for it. So what I might do really quick is let's just quickly clear this out. So we want to go too close to the edge because the town hall itself is going to be massive. So we're eventually going to have to fill that cave in, at least on the surface. Which this is going to take a lot of dirt and you're going to have to do a lot of terraforming. All right, so we'll get this kind of just push back right here slightly, and then we're going to put this down. And I think what we'll do is we'll put it right here. So we'll use the build tool. All right, and we're going to want... Well, we're going to want a town hall. So I'm thinking because of where we are... Oh, is it raining now? It is. So I think what we'll do is we'll plop we'll plop this down. We use the build tool, and so you have a you have a many many different designs. And that I'm thinking a stone one might be kind of cool. So you can kind of go on the inside here. I think we might go with a stone one. So you can kind of see how it's kind of glitchy and that, so these are areas that we're going to have to fix before that this is actually built. Here, but I think we will place it there. All right, so it does start the colony. 
However, we're going to stop short of actually um, really starting it right now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to end the episode here. And I'm, what I'm going to do off, off camera here is I'm going to grind for some resources. Um, we're going to need a lot of wood. We're going to need a lot of stone. We're going to need all that good type of stuff. So we're going to leave it here for the very first episode. This is really how to get started in our next episode. That's when we're actually going to start welcoming people into our colony. So I hope you enjoyed our very first um, episode here of Mine Colonies on the channel. If you did, you know, please consider leaving a like below. We will be back uh, with the next episode where we will start our county. Until then, take care, guys. See you soon.